Back to you. Thank you, Deanne. Well, right now, a big travel mess. The airlines working to get back on track after 9,000 flights were delayed and hundreds more canceled over the weekend. And thunderstorms were a major reason for the cancellations and delays. We're going to turn it over to Xavier Harris live at Tampa International Airport. Hey there, how's it going? Yeah, good morning, guys. I want to get right out to it. You, you can see behind me here on this board, very few of the flights here are in red, which means delays or cancellations, which was the case for most of the weekend. But now uh, things aren't as bad. Uh, over the weekend, there were 99 departure departed delays and 100, 109 cancellations. And folks this morning say they're just excited to be back traveling. We were supposed to board around noon, I think yesterday or Saturday, but I don't know what day it is. Um, and that flight got canceled nine minutes before we were to board. That was just the beginning of a travel frenzy for Mandy Finkler and her family of six. They were headed to Tampa from Chicago for spring break. I was in tears. We've got four kids with us. They were, this is their first time flying. Two of them never want to fly again. This weekend, flight aware tracking more than 900 cancellations for Southwest, over 600 for American, more than 270 for Delta, and over 500 for JetBlue. Southwest Airlines apologizing, blaming technology maintenance, weather, and airspace issues for its headaches. It was pretty frustrating. She says the airlines made accommodations for them to get from Chicago with a layover in North Carolina and would land in Tampa. While we were in flight to North Carolina, our um, flight from North Carolina to Tampa was canceled. After a few more delays, the family found a flight to Fort Myers, but it would cost them more money than expected to get to Tampa. We've doled out $170 for a hotel. We've doled out another $170 for a rental car to get us to our place. We've doled out extra money in food. <laughs> Now, according to FlightAware, this weekend, Tampa International was the third worst airport for cancellations in the world. And we've been here at the airport all morning. And at this point, there are 22 delays here and 37 cancellations. This morning, we're live in Tampa. Xavier Harris, 8 on your side. All right.